Hey guys, um, in this tutorial I will show you how to um, add some like black boxes with text in it uh, to your video and most track them like in this video. Yeah. Um, so basically you can do this in After Effects or in Photoshop. I prefer Photoshop because that's a bit easier. Um, yeah, in my opinion. So that's the cinematic. Uh, first of all I will show you how to do this in Photoshop. So just open Photoshop, then go to File, New, and make this 1280 by 720 um, pixels, not centimeters or millimeters or something, and go to Background Contents uh, and make it transparent. So you can change the resolution to 300 or something, whatever you want. Click OK. <coughs> then you have will have yeah this transparent background. Then go to your Shape tool. Um, you can use the normal rectangle tool or the rounded rectangle tool. Um, I prefer the rounded one. Uh, by the way, hold your left mouse on this and you will get this menu. Then go to the radius and change it to maybe 2. So dra then drag this. So make sure that the, your foreground color is black or gray or whatever you want it to be. So let's drag this in the middle. By the way, if you want to center something, then uh, yeah, uh, press Control R, and you will get this. Then right click on and make sure that it's on percent. Then you can drag this from the left to 50, and from there to 50. Then you will have this, and you will know where the middle is. Then go on your shape, press Control T, and center this press enter then go to view show guides so that they disappear so then let's go to the text um, yeah let's say Rob Taser yeah so let me just make this bigger larger whatever the word is for some reason my photoshop is a bit fucked up at the moment, but I think that's okay. So, um, um, yeah, we'll keep this font, but make this a bit smaller. I will, and I will change the, this type to bold. So, this looks quite okay. Center this. So now you can, uh, save this, or I like, um, like the, the where the text is that the this part is transparent so right click on your shape go to rasterize layer go to your text control click on it go to your shape layer and click delete and then you can delete the text layer press control D to deselect this then you will have just the shape and your text cut out that looks pretty nice. Then go to File, Save As. You can save it as a Photoshop image or maybe a PNG file. So save this. Click OK. Because if you save it as JPEG, um, you won't have the transparent background. So then go to After Effects. Uh, let's just go to search for the um, text thing. There it is. Drag it into After Effects and go to your project files and drag this onto your cinematic so this looks pretty nice you can drag this under your adjustment layer if you have a color correction but you don't have to do this so and to make it look better i always add some gaussian blur that so that the edges are not that sharp and i change that to one or two i think two should look okay yeah um so now um, if you want to motion track it, so maybe this wall or something, go to your clip, uh, go to the first spot where you can see the uh, point you want to motion track. Um, then go to tracker. By the way, if you don't see this, go to window and then uh, tracker. Then go to track motion and you will have this track point. So drag this to um, yeah points that you should not drag it on maybe this white 
thing or something maybe to yeah this point because there's a black point and the other stuff around it is more white and then go to um, yeah analyze forward so on there it's changed it doesn't always go perfectly so then uh, go forwards one frame if uh, if there's something like that what just happened so that's then should keep the normal spot um, yeah I think that's okay ah oh, shit again that always happens when I try to motion drag something so I think that's quite okay. So, ah, fuck. So that's perfect. Then go to layer and add a new uh, node object. That's basically a layout um, on that After Effects saves the this position. Then go to edit target and select the null one layer then click apply x and y and click ok <coughs> so then go to your null object press u so that you can see the keyframes go to the first keyframe then go to your text then drag it to the point you, where you uh, that you motion tracked like that and go to um, go to this uh, little thing here and drag that on the null object. So now it should keep the right spot. Yeah, that's okay. So okay, that's perfect. Um, <coughs> yeah, because on now you in this in this part you have to manually uh, uh, motion track it. So go to press P for position, make a keyframe go forwards maybe two frames drag it to the right and now let let's just go forward a few more frames like this drag it to the right let me just preview this that's okay but it's still moving here so um Go forward a few more frames. Drag the position more to the right. Uh, now let's just go to the spot where it should be completely away, like here. Drag it out of the picture. Let me preview this again <coughs> without color correction so that it's faster. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that's a quite nice effect. Um, yeah, please like the video. If you want to see more of this, or if you have other requests, then just write it in the comments. And please check out my other tutorials. I uploaded two other tutorials in the last days, and they got only 1k views or so. And yeah, that's it. Like the video.